Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to do some military 3D prop modeling. We're going to be modeling an e-tool, also known as a foldable shovel. Here we go. Okay, everybody, well, here we go. We're in my 2020. In front of us is a reference image of an e-tool. Uh, it's uh, called an entrenchment or entrenchment tool, depending on where you live, uh, UK or US. It's basically a foldable uh, military shovel that you can uh, fold in an angle of 90 degrees or straight out, right? That's what we're gonna model. We're gonna start with this section right here, uh, which is basically hugging this uh, top piece, that cylindrical piece there, yeah? So we're going to go up to uh, Polygon Primitives. We're going to select a pipe, and there we go. After frame, and we're going to start to get that into proportion. So we're going to open up the Attribute Editor. Let's change the thickness to, I would say, 0 0.15 should be about right. Yep. We'll do a few subdivisions in height. Let's do three. That should be OK. And that's going to be our starting point, right? Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to jump in here and we're going to right click and go to vertex and we're going to take these and kind of push that up to about there, I would say. Yeah. Then we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to push that up to about there. We're going to insert one more edge loop and let's set that to manual and we'll put that in here like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we are going to uh, bevel. So we're going to go to edge, take that and shift select that. And we're going to bevel that and 0 0.5 on that is fine. Looks like, yeah. And then we're going to go in and we're going to go into face and we're going to use the tab key and then we're going to select every other face. Come on. That's what happens when you are holding down the caps lock instead of the shift key. There you have it. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to do is we're going to hit control E to extrude. Let's see. We'll give that uh, some thickness, not too much. Let's go with uh, 0 0.1. That should be fine. And then we'll change the offset and we'll change the offset. Yeah. Something like that. That's not bad. Yeah. Like that. Okay. That's our starting point. Now we need to have the top section of the uh, shovel stick through. So for that, we'll take a new cylinder and what we'll do is we'll uh, hit F to frame and R to scale down a bit. So we can hit W to pull that up. Let's make that a nice snug fit for, for wireframe mode. Let's go in here and increase that uh, subdivision level in the attribute editor by hitting control A. We'll do 30 there and I think that's fine. And then we'll hit R and we'll kind of scale that up like so. And that needs to go up. Okay, so we're gonna go up to about here maybe even a bit further. Uh, let me just see the reference here for a sec. Yeah, that should be fine. And I'm thinking whether it's thin enough um, so that it will work the way I want it to work. And I don't think it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down to about here and we're going to bring the sides in for this guy. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to go into edge and we're going to select these and let's see what's the best way to do that i think the best way to do that is by selecting the faces so i'll go in and i'll click and shift double click here i'll hit shift period to increase that selection and we are hitting it all the way down there yeah and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring it in like this and then i'll just uh adjust that a little bit have a look at the top here so bring it in some more 
And let's have a look from the top. Yeah, that's better. And then we have to go in and adjust the height. And that can best be seen in this view. All right, that's better. Okay, so we got this guy. We're gonna bevel the top there like that. Set the fraction to 0 0.2, that should be fine. And then we're gonna extend that down, all right? So let's see what's going on with this guy. He's still good, yeah. So we're gonna select this, we're gonna go into vertex mode and we're gonna hit W and we're gonna pull it down, all right? Now we don't necessarily need the faces on the bottom there. So we're gonna hit uh, right click face. We're gonna hit the tab key, come on, tab key, yeah. And we'll delete those, that's fine. Okay, and then we have the top section ready to start our shovel section, right? Now for that, what we'll do is we'll take a polygon cube. We'll hit W, we'll pull that up after frame. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push that back here. Look at it from the top. Okay, we're gonna stretch that out like so. And that would be about right, I would say. We'll hit W, we'll move it to about there. And then we're gonna insert edge loop. We're gonna set it to multiple and two. We'll add them in here like so. We'll hit R, we'll pull that out to about there, I would say. Yeah. Then we're gonna go back to our perspective view and we're gonna right click and go to face and select these two, extrude and W to pull them out. And uh, let's see, um, that needs to come in, of course, yeah. So we'll take that and we'll take that. And I was looking at the wrong dimensions. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so now that the inner diameter is okay, um, almost okay because we need to adjust this as well, of course. We can now go in and adjust that as well. So we'll take these and these and bring them in. All right. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, Height-wise, uh, we're gonna go in and select that, and then we'll hit W and bring that down to about there, I would say, yeah. Starting to get there. Now we're gonna bevel that later. I'm just seeing whether this is too thick or not, and I still need to adjust it a little bit because I still think it is. And, I mean, the way that looks is very important, so. Just give it some time. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. All right, so now that we have that, uh, let's see what's next we are going to. Um, yeah, we're gonna work on the shovel section. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go in and we're gonna right click, get a face. We're gonna hold down the tab key. We're gonna take these and we're gonna hit Control E to extrude, and W to push out. And I got too much going on, looks like. Control E to extrude, we'll pull that out. Until we're happy with the thickness of the shovel. And that would be, I would say about that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna take this side and that side, okay? And we're gonna hit Control E to extrude. And we'll hit R and we'll pull that out. Now we need to look at our reference for that because that's basically that top section up there. So we're gonna pull that out to, I would say about there. And then we're gonna hit a G to repeat. And we're gonna hit R and we're gonna pull it out again until we have something like this. All right, now, now that we have that, we're gonna go into the top and we're gonna right click and get a vertex. Take that and shift select that. And we're gonna hit W and we're gonna push that in an angle like so. 
and that should be fine. And then what we'll do is we'll take these and let's see if we're going to adjust those a little bit. I think we are going to, yeah. All right. And so then, we're going to go in here, we're going to go into face and we're going to click and shift double click. Control E to extrude. Let's uh, pull that down. And let's have a look to about there, I would say, and I would G to repeat, W to pull down again. And that will be the point of our shovel. Okay, so in order to get that, we need to do a couple of things. First, we need to right click and go to vertex and drag select these. Hit R and push them together quite close. Then we'll take these and we'll do the same. And then we'll take these. And we'll bring it in like so. All right, that's not bad. And let's see if we can make some adjustments here to make it look a little bit cooler. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top here and uh, actually I can't do it from the top, I have to do it here. What I'm gonna do here is I am going to take these faces and made it four because I wanna make sure that I only have those. So we'll take these faces and we'll hit W and we'll move them in like that and we'll do the same here and move it in like that and we'll just give a little bit more detail to the whole thing yeah now if you want you can take these and move them up and be careful not to uh, cut into that geometry. I think that looks cool. And what we can do here, if you like, is um, kind of work with those, I guess you would call them folds, yeah? So uh, we're gonna go in to Edge, and we'll just take these two, and what we'll do is we'll uh, bevel them. We'll set that to 0 0.2. That should be fine. And then we'll go in here to face one and two, and we'll actually take those little triangles as well. And we'll hit control E to extrude, and we'll hit W, and we'll kind of slightly push that in, very, very slightly. Don't go too far. All right. So now that we have that, we can look at the rest of our shovel. And uh, for that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this section that's coming out here. Uh, as you can see, it's steel. Um, let's see how we're gonna do that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the handle and add that later, right? So we're gonna do another uh, polygon cylinder. We'll hit W, we'll move that down. Let's make sure we've got a good fit. So we'll uh, scale it down a bit. Let's have a look. After frame. Okay, that's a perfect fit. And we now need to extend that out. Now for that, we kind of need to eyeball that, how long that should be. So we're gonna right click and go to vertex. We're gonna drag select and we're gonna pull that down. And I would say this is one and a half times that size. So that would be about one, yeah, something like that. All right. Okay, so now let's start to shape this. After frame, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna insert edge loop. And let's set that to multiple and one. So we can set them in the middle. So we've got one there, one up there, one up there. There you go. And then we can go down here and we're gonna right click and go to edge. And let's select that. Let's bevel that, that's fine. Then we're gonna insert an edge loop manually to about here, I would say. 
Q on the keyboard. We're going to select these faces. And let's kind of flare that out like so. And then push it down like so. Okay. Let's see if that's thick enough. Not really. So let's give it some more. What we'll do is we'll take that whole section and then kind of push that down a little bit. All right, so that's fine. Then uh, let's see, we want to have uh, more thickness as we move to the top there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to vertex and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, I would say, yeah. And we're gonna start to kind of slightly scale them up. So we'll make it a little bit thicker. Like that, yeah. Let's hit three on the keyboard to kind of adjust that and that looks fine. And then we need to adjust that steel bit in there, yeah. So that's basically kind of like a, a plate that's screwed on and we need to add rivets here as well and up there. So uh, yeah, how are we gonna do that? Um, let me just first take this whole thing and what we're gonna do is we're gonna group that. Control G to group. E to rotate, hold down J and flip it on the side and F to frame. And let's turn off our grid. Okay, let's look at those rivets for a second. Uh, for that, what we'll do is we'll take a polygon sphere, we'll uh, pull it out, let control A to open up the attribute editor, set that to 8 by 8. Come on, 8 by 8. And then we're going to go in here and we are going to cut it in half. Get rid of half or at least half. Let's do a little bit more. And we've got this and what we're going to do is going to go to modify and center pivot. And then we're going to bring that in. Jump to the top. Five for shaded mode. Actually four is better. Let's bring it in here. Let's scale it down. That's about the right size. We'll hit three to smooth that out. And then let's get them into place. All right, so we're gonna bring that in. And that's fine. And what we'll do is we'll uh, hold down X to snap, we'll hit control D, we'll hit W, and we'll hold X to snap as well. And then we'll uh, copy it again. And that one needs to come in. And uh, we'll do that one more time. And then those two need to be adjusted. Right, so we'll take this and we'll kind of rotate that and push it down. And we'll do the same here. All right, so now that we have that, uh, let's see what else. We can take one of these and make it very, very small. And then we'll put it on top of this guy here. So I hit W, hold down X, and there you go. And then we're gonna move it here. We're gonna scale it down and move it up. After frame, let's move that down. Like that, that's fine. And then let's see what else. Okay, so the plates that we were talking about. Now, a couple of ways you can do that. Um, what I think I'll do is I'll take a cylinder. We'll move that out. Jump to the top. And we'll right click and go to face, hold on the tab key and get rid of these and these. All right, 
So we now have this piece of tube fuel. And what we'll do here is we'll take it, we'll hit E to rotate, hold on J, flip it on its side, and we'll get rid of half of it. So we'll go in here and let's do that from this view. We'll go in here, right click at a face and boom, there you go. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna move this guy over here. We're gonna scale it down and move it in. And let me just have a look here after frame. Let's see what we got. Okay, scale it down some more. All right, so that's what we have so far. We're gonna W, we're gonna move that in like this. Then we're gonna right click and get a vertex. We're gonna drag select and we're gonna move that in. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in to edge. And I just want this edge right here. Okay. And we're gonna uh, control E to extrude, W to pull out like this. And it needs to flare out a little bit, as you can see. Yeah. G to repeat again. W to pull out. And again, flare out. Like that. G once again. And G one more time. All right. So now that we have that, let's adjust that a little bit, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is go in to this view. Let's get rid of that. We're gonna hit four for wireframe mode. I'm gonna right click go to, I'm gonna right click and go to vertex. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna kind of bring them up like that. So we'll take this. And then, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, let's have a look. So that's what we have so far. And then we're gonna go in here and we are going to extrude it. Let's do 0 0.1 on that. Let's see if that's enough or too much. I think that would work. Uh, let me see what it looks like when we smooth it out. Let's hit three, not bad, but hit one to go back. We're going to hit uh, insert edge loop and let's set it to manual and put one in there and one in there. And then we need to put one in here and we need to put one right there. All right. So now if we select it and hit three to preview smooth, it will look a lot better. Okay. So now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J, and flip it around to the other side, which will give us that. Okay. Now, finally, we'll take this guy, we'll hit Control D to duplicate, we'll hit W to move it, and we'll put a few right there. We'll do one more, and we'll raise that one up a little bit. And the ones on the other side, you can't see them. I don't think so anyway. Well, you can. So we need to uh, sort that. So we're gonna group those. We're gonna go to uh, Modify and Center Pivot. We're gonna Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold on J, flip it around like this, and then hit W and push them straight down. After frame, let's see where we're at. Alrighty. Okay, and I think that completes our e-tool, and it does, yep. Okay guys, well, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you got any questions, as always, uh, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, and if you don't wanna miss out on future videos, please subscribe, okay? Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.